We start with a gander at Tamiya Cement, used most commonly to give Gunpla a professional look by eliminating seam lines from completed models. Also the Tamiya Basic tool set, specifically made for models. Now, when I was younger, I didn't understand why older kids loved Gundam. I dug just as outlandish TV shows, but I never really understood the giant robot thing. Aside from Beast Wars, and they weren't giant, ironically enough, I hated Transformers and did not know they were connected until my mother told me. That is not even a joke. But my best friend as a kid was this wiry, tough-as-nails guy from the wrong side of the tracks. At least that's what everyone else saw. Now, he absolutely loved Gundam and Gunpla. He told me about how these giant robots are actually usually more of a last-ditch effort to fight back against other humans, not aliens or Transformers, which I consider goofy, and the franchise wasn't nearly as silly as I must have thought. I quickly learned that this franchise had great emotional depth compared to other kids' shows. Grandma also got us something beautiful, the Gundam Mark II Real Grade and the Gundam Barbados Lupus Master Grade models. Now I still not have taken the plunge into the original Gundam series, but you can expect a review from Barbados' series, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, because I am binging that right now and I cannot get enough. So that's where I'm coming from. Hopefully you understand why I chose Gunpla when tasked with modeling as a hobby. These boxes are beautiful, and the translations on the side are filled with super positive and sweet affirmations. Instead of blinking lights and sounds which annoy parents across the globe, these boxes advertise, and I quote from the Mark II RX-178, We want to tell all generations who know Gundam of the pleasure and excitement of making a mobile suit. Please be sure to enjoy the numerous gimmicks incorporated in this palm-sized 1 144th scale model. Not only is this a way more respectful way to advertise to kids and hobbyists than anything I've seen in North America, but this paradox of joyfully, carefully, and creatively building idols to man-made gods of destruction, mainly for the joy of art and life itself, is a mindset I really appreciate and actually parallels the themes present in Gundam and mecha shows in general. Now, in the franchise fiction, the pilot of the first mobile suit we're looking at, the Mark II AEUG RX-178, good god, is piloted by no less than 15 characters. There is actually more than 15 characters that pilot this uh, over the franchise fiction. Now, AEUG stands for Anti-Earth Union Group a freedom-fighting organization born on off-world colonies. They stole this Gundam to help in their war effort against a corrupt Earth government. The Gundam Barbados, on the other hand, is a much more recent addition to the Mythos, and I am absolutely in love with the design of every version of the Barbados. The design feels exactly at home in a series starring child soldiers who take over the mercenary company that uh, quote-unquote hired them. One of the more recent releases, Iron Blood Orphans explains in the first few episodes that by now in the timeline, most if not all mobile suits out in the universe that happen to be Gundam models are just leftover antiques from a massive war from 300 years ago.
It also explains away why these Gundams show up over and over again in one line. Destiny. Your mileage may vary on Destiny. But I do think it's cool that Gundams keep showing up in massive wars and conflicts despite their rarity. From Japan to North America, these themes ring as true today as they did in the 80s. Two small town Canadian kids can grow up and connect with millions of builders and otaku, which means anime fan, all over the world based on cathartic destruction. Iron Blooded Orphan specifically has me hooked. I'm starting to see what millions of fans have known for decades. Creation and annihilation go hand in hand in the real world. And it can feel pretty damn good to have both possibilities existing at once in the palm of yours. And now, a quick word from our sponsor.